Boom shakalaka. What's going on, everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love, and I am joined today by Pooh Shi, the CEO of One Game. What is going on, Pooh? I'm doing well. Uh, thank you for having the interview for me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. An exciting project. I see you're built off of Deep Brain Chain and kind of have support from them. So, before we get into one game, tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into blockchain. Uh, sure, definitely. Uh, so, I was a software engineer um, and I worked for Google and Microsoft in the past. So, in the uh, most recent years, I, uh, uh, I became a businessman and I uh, worked on different startup projects, but uh, I most uh, uh, most recently, I, I focused on uh, video games, and I became a, uh, I mean, a game developer uh, since I left my my job, and uh, I had been working with a company called Mukuni LLC, um, and uh, yeah, we we worked on multiple different projects. Um, I came across uh, blockchain uh, last year in the summer, um, so in the very beginning, you know, um, I. I honestly I didn't know much about it, I, I but I, I bought a little bit of Bitcoin um, to to uh, uh, to try uh, trading it, yeah. But uh, I mean, I mean by by doing that, I, I started to learn more about the fundamental you know uh, knowledge about blockchain, like how I mean how how different you know uh, you know different coins or different tokens works, how how to mine them, and. Uh, what are the theory behind, you know, different blockchains? Um, and uh, I think, I mean, by trading, trading, trading cryptocurrencies and uh, by reading white papers, um, I gradually, you know, learned about it and I became very excited about blockchain. Uh, the reason is that I, I believe, you know, uh, internet allowed people to uh, uh, communicate with each other through, you know, computers. Yeah, but blockchain, besides allowing, you know, different entities to be able to communicate, it also set up a mechanism so that, you know, independent entities in, you know, in, the com in a complicated system, you know, they can coordinate with each other, uh, but uh, without the need of, uh, you know, centralized node. Um, and um, and uh, it actually inspired me to, to start this project one game. Um, the, uh, the background is that, you know, uh, if you watch the, the movie Matrix or Ready Player One, you saw that in the future people are able to create a very, you know, complicated virtual world that is more real than our real world. Um, but I personally believe um, it won't be any single company or single, any single, you know, talent uh, that I mean can create such a world, yeah. Because just because it's too complicated, if if one day we are able to make it, uh, it would be the you know uh, it would be the work and the collaboration of the human being of the whole you know community, and uh, I think only by using blockchain, only by using cryptocurrency based you know uh, ecosystem. Uh, tokenize the ecosystem, or we can, you know, uh, organize the army of creators and the developers to to finish such a big project. So the very goal of one game is that we want to build a virtual world, but uh, using blockchain as a weapon to uh, manage the uh, tokenize the economy and uh, uh, to uh, um, uh, to let all the talents from the world join us to build the virtual world together. So that's that's a story. All right, great. So tell us about what game, or tell us about one game. Yeah, sure. So uh, with one game, I mentioned I want to build a virtual world. Um, besides blockchain, you know, we start from the very fundamental elements. Um, so basically, um, one game is a sandbox game, just like Second Life or, or Minecraft. Yeah, but different from you know uh, these existing uh, games or projects. Um, 
uh, first of all, we, we fo really focus on the tools we want to provide developers, you know, easy to use, but, you know, powerful tools so that everyone are able to create, create content. And uh, secondly, I mean, uh, it's a, a tokenized economy, ecosystem. So uh, it means, you know, we use tokens uh, as the incentives to, uh, to uh, reward the uh, content creators or developers. Uh, because, uh, for example, if you play Second Life or if you play uh, Minecraft, if you created something, you know, uh, fantastic, uh, you, you, you gain, you know, uh, uh, likes from, 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 you know, other players, or you, you gain, you know, uh, um, you know, their, uh, uh, there are appreciations, but uh, I mean, uh, but you don't get really uh, get rewarded uh, through money. So, but we believe, you know, um, a perfect, you know, perfect, uh, you know, uh, game. I think players as a person should uh, get get rewarded instead of the game company. So, uh, this is I think this is what what is blockchain about. So we want to uh, uh, make sure that. Uh, the system itself uh, can sustain without a, a company in, uh, behind it, um, and uh, the it will be the users who get most from the system instead of a profitable company. Um, that means, yeah. So with one game, we want to uh, use uh, provide easy to use tools for people to create uh, virtual content, and we use want to use blockchain to uh, give rewards to people who created the content, and. Uh, uh, with this, I mean, eventually we want to build a mirror world that is, you know, virtual, but uh, fantastic. Great. So what excites you the most about one game? Um, I think um, the thing that excites me most about one game is that, uh, first of all, it's a, it's a very open game. So, and... Uh, um, it's a, I mean, first of all, it's a sandbox game. The, the goal of the game is to create a reward. So, so basically, as a player, you, you create stuff and you, you, you get rewarded and you, you play, um, you know, games or, or virtual, virtual things created by other players. Um, I mean, I think this kind of game itself is uh, very interesting. Yeah, just uh, I mean, uh, I think, uh, well, different people like different kinds of games, but I personally, you know, like Second Life or like, like Minecraft because it's so creative that there is, uh, I mean, the only limit is your imagination. Um, yeah, yeah, that's one thing that excites me. The second thing is, I think one game will be, um, I, think, I wouldn't say it's the first, but uh, I think it's, it's, it will be one of the first uh, truly decentralized games. Uh, which means it will be one of the first games that um, will be uh, organized by the community. So I think this is very important. Yeah, because I mean, uh, nowadays I think a lot, I mean, there are a lot of tens of uh, choices in the market, so many games. Yeah, but um, most of them, I think it's just uh, um, uh, commercial projects and uh, uh, players need to spend money in order to enjoy the game. Um, however, I believe, I mean, eventually in the future, uh, I mean, um, I mean, blockchain games will, will, will be, become the, you know, uh, be, be become the, uh, um, majority. And I think, I mean, people, uh, play games, but uh, I mean, the game will be hosted by the community and people, uh, pay, pay. Pay, still pay for the game, but eventually the money will go back to the hand of the players. Um, yeah, that's the second thing besides me. And uh, yeah, be, besides that, of course, I mean, um, uh, you, you, uh, with blockchain, with, uh, with this you know, platform, we really want to, um, the most talented players or most talented creators to, to join us. I think, I mean, um, Blockchain, I mean, for the first time, it allowed us to um, uh, design an open platform that uh, engages, um, you know, uh, as much, you know, resources as possible. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, now, with the virtual world, there's another game 
uh, Decentraland that you even yeah. mentioned in your white paper. Can you compare one game with Decentraland and the differences? Uh, sure. So um, I think uh, 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 Decentraland, they did their, their, their ICO last year uh, in the summer. Uh, but so far, honestly, I mean, uh, from a developer's point of view, their progress is really uh, just the social, I, I would say. Um, uh, I think so, so far, I think most uh, of their focus is about, you know, uh, auction on land and uh, uh, buying, buying and uh, selling land, um, which I believe, uh, I mean, it's not the uh, core component of, of, of a, a virtual world. I believe, you know, uh, land should be, uh, well, it should not be free, but it should be as cheap as possible. Yeah, because, I mean, we want the creators uh, to, to be able to create stuff. We don't want, the, you know, the land price to be a reason that they cannot afford it. So unlike Decentraland, we provided uh, unlimited uh, supply of land. Uh, that's one thing. Yeah, secondly, I think uh, uh, so far, I think according to Decentraland white paper, they never mentioned how, how a creator can get rewarded from, from you know, playing the game. I think basically, I think uh, the idea they are, they are trying to sell is, is that a creator buy a land and build stuff, then land price goes up and he can sell the land with much higher price. Um, yeah, but uh, I think uh, we take a we took a different approach. Basically, uh, with uh, one game, um, uh, we used uh, you know uh, popularity rank to to measure how popular the content you created are, are in the system. And we have a reserved poll. Uh, basically, thirty percent of all the tokens is uh, is reserved for the incentive program, and. Uh, um, Basically, uh, when people pay for something in the system, all the tokens will go back to the, you know, incentive pool. But every year, 10% of the tokens in the incentive pool will be distributed to uh, players and uh, developers. Yeah, basically, I mean, in one game, it's very clear that you play game or you create a game and you make real money. Um, and uh, yeah, besides, uh, besides this, um, um, you know, we also uh, want to borrow some idea from the popular game Crypto Kitties. So basically, um, all the avatars, all, all the, I mean, most of the virtual content in, in one game, uh, we want to represent them with DNA genes. Um, and uh, we want to apply some, you know, theory of uh, genetic combination and uh, selection. Uh, so that you know the content in in, in one game will self evolve. Um, this is actually very important. Uh, the reason is that uh, in order to create a complicated uh, virtual world, uh, you cannot just uh, rely on uh, human beings' input. Yeah, because no ma no matter how creative human beings are, there are always limitations. Uh, but look at our you know nature. Uh, I mean there are. Uh, it, it is so dynamic, it is so, you know, uh, so colorful. Um, yeah, but what is behind nature? Basically, nature has the, the, the selection, the gene selections. Basically, if, if God, uh, God created Adam and Eva, you know, um, then, you know, it will be the uh, genetic theory that enabled human being to, to be able to evolve into so many different possibilities. I would say, yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, borrowing this idea. And uh, in my game, you know, players just uh, play the role as a god. Yeah, but uh, it's um, uh, genetic algorithms that en enabled the, the content created by the gods to be able to evolve, to, to, to generate more content, something that's beyond the human being's imagination. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, and... Uh, uh, yeah, I talk too much about the theory, but uh, from the product point of view, um, yeah, I, we have a very clear uh, product timeline as well. So basically, um, um, in July 15th, we plan to launch uh, our first uh, D app called uh, um, One Game Avatar Wallet. Um, so with this um, wallet, people basically 
uh, are able to customize their avatar inside this micro app, and uh, they can deposit or withdraw uh, one game tokens uh, from it. Um, and uh, that's it. It's a very simple app, but uh, we want to uh, use this, you know, uh, HTML5 based micro app as the entry point of the of our of the one game virtual world. So instead of starting from le letting people, you know, uh, buying and selling land, yeah, we wanted uh, people to start from customizing their avatars. And uh, I think people, um, I think most the users, they they I mean, uh, they like to say what. Uh, uh, what he, he he will look like in the virtual world, and uh, they would like to show off their avatars if if it looks good. So with this, you know, micro app, we will be allow people to do that. And uh, after we, you know, uh, gain enough traffic uh, through this micro app, then we will uh, gradually launch other content in the you know uh, in the uh, world of one game. Um, so our second target. Uh, would be in August. We want to uh, sorry in October. We want to launch something called a one game open platform. So with one game open platform, uh, we will open source our uh, uh, map editor tools uh, to uh, to the third party you know developers. Allow people to uh, create uh, create games using the avatar system and using the land same system provided by by us. And uh, um, the goal is to use our, you know, uh, tokenized eco ecosystem to attract uh, top 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 players uh, and the top uh, creators from the world to help us build the virtual content together. And uh, then the third step would be uh, in the beginning of next year we want to launch uh, launch the um, uh, one game main uh, main game. Basically, it will be a, an MMO RPG. So basically, uh, uh, the goal uh, for a single player will be to you know buy land, to build a city, to to you know um, to 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 uh, to fight with other you know nations or fight with other you know players. So <laughs> it will be, <laughs> um, yeah. So so I mean, compared to Decentraland, our, our, I would say our pr uh, pro product you know timeline is uh, more clear. I would say. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so you you list uh, Deep Brain Chain and Loopring as partners yeah. with one game. How are they going to help you accomplish what you plan on doing? Uh, sure. So first of all, uh, Deep Brain Chain, uh, they are our uh, uh, Android investor. Um, and we are going to uh, build our system on top of Deep Brain Chain. Um, the difference between Deep Brain Chain and uh, other you know major blockchain platform is that um, so besides the uh, smart contracts, Deep Chain also uh, will provide a computing platform. So it's a decentralized computing platform. Um, because we are a game, our game platform, it's very important. Yeah, because um, I mean uh, our system requires a lot of computation, requires a lot of you know servers basically. Uh, this is not doable if there is only you know uh, only smart contracts. So so basically, we we architected our system into two layers. There are some uh, smart contract layer and uh, uh, non smart non blockchain layer. And uh, the smart contract layer will be hosted on DBC's uh, smart smart contracts as DBC smart contracts. And uh, the uh, computation layer or the non blockchain layer. Uh, we will uh, we actually uh, we we will uh, uh, deploy them on DBC uh, decentralized computing platform, but we also uh, designed something called a um, simulated mining process. Um, basically, um, if anyone want to help us host uh, our server, they can you know uh, uh, visit our GitHub repository, download our uh, code. And uh, build a binary, and uh, they can deploy our binary to DBC's computing platform, uh, where they they spend DBC, but they uh, earn you know OGT token or one game token from our system. So yeah, by doing this, you know we uh, really uh, find a way to to uh, to build a decentralized DApp 
I mean, the, I mean, DApp should be decentralized, but uh, we are able to build a uh, DApp that requires a lot of computation on the non-blockchain layer. Um, yeah, this is our goal, um, but uh, I, obviously such a system, such an architect, it, uh, it is complicated. It takes some time. So, I mean, our system, I think we are starting We'll start from something uh, semi uh, sorry, half centralized. So basically, uh, part of it will be centralized. Some part of it will be blockchain based. But gradually, we want to we want to make it fully decentralized. So this is our uh, our you know partnership with uh, DBC. So with Luprin, um, yeah, uh, basically, uh, uh, I mentioned that we have a wallet app. Uh, right, so so I think uh, with Loopring it's more like uh, 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 I mean uh, they give us some, they gave us some technical guidance on how how do we uh, uh, finish uh, you know good uh, safe and uh, secure you know wallet app. So so I mean the the, the purpose of this wallet I mean uh, it it's unlike most of the wallet products in the in the market, yeah, but uh, it will be fun. So basically, with this wallet, you you can, as I said, you can customize your avatars, and uh, if you deposit some OGT tokens into this wallet, you will be able to um, uh, get some very good, you know, virtual stuff. Uh, basically, the, the the way it works is that um, uh, in order to get virtual uh, items from the wallet, people don't need to spend any token. Yeah, but if they uh, deposit um, uh, as much token as they can, uh, they will get a higher chance of winning, you know, uh, better, you know, virtual items. So, so <laughs> this is our, you know, little tricks uh, to uh, um, to attract people to buy our tokens, to attract people to, you know, um, to use our wallet, and uh, gradually, uh, then our our next ne ne next uh, you know step will be. Um, uh, let them play our uh, games, play the games in the one game open system and uh, eventually they will play our MMO RPG. Awesome, awesome. So uh, quickly just tell us a little bit about your team. Uh, sure, uh, I, can, I can show you basically. <laughs> you know, so, so my yeah, my, <laughs> my my team they are they are they are at work. <laughs> so yeah, we are. <laughs> but right now it's it's lunch lunch time, so we are missing someone as well. Um, <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, we we have uh, game designers, we have developers, we have you know marketers. Um, our our team, you know, it's uh it's a uh, it's a small team. We we have less than ten people. Yeah, but uh, we. Uh, we, we, I, I would say most of our uh, staff are very talented, so we are trying our best to deliver the product on time. We want to make something that you know uh, that's really useful. I mean, because I think nowadays um, uh, in the domain of blockchain or cryptocurrency, I think that everyone is talking about blockchain, but uh, um, uh, but nobody knows how blockchain can be used, why people need blockchain. I think a game will be one of the best areas to solve this problem. Yeah, because uh, just because game is virtual and blockchain is a, uh, is a, uh, I mean, it's a virtual virtual technology. Basically, I think um, it would be easier for blockchain to manage, you know, uh, virtual content instead of you know uh, real world stuff. Um, and uh, I think, I mean, and the games, I mean, uh, I mean, even. Uh, from 20 years ago, there there had been you know tokens in games. Yeah, just just uh, at that time, those tokens were not you know based on blockchain. So I think I mean, um, yeah, with one game, we want to we really want to design a, a decentralized system that our tokens can can have real utilities. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. So, um, anything else that you'd like to cover? In this interview today, I know we've touched on a whole bunch of topics. Anything that I missed? Um, sure. Maybe let me uh, talk about our token sale. I mean, is that allowed? Yeah, totally. Okay, sure. So, so yeah. Right now, we uh, almost finished our uh, private pre-sale. Uh, so our next 
target will be the uh, public cloud cell. So um, we, we just made an announcement uh, uh, last uh, Friday, and uh, we are going to do it uh, starting from July 20th uh, to July uh, 30th. So our plan is that um, if we can meet our uh, timeline, we will launch our wallet app on uh, July 15th, and uh, we will uh, then do some airdrops to attract some users to, to join us to, to download our uh, avatar, uh, uh, sorry, the avatar wallet app. And um, uh, then, I mean, right inside that avatar wallet, people can buy our tokens. Um, yeah, it's a, we, we call it a, a public crowd sale, but you, you can uh, think of it as just uh, we are selling some, you know, game, game credits uh, for our, you know, own system. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, this is a very first step, but a very important step. Um, yeah, after, yeah, if we can successfully finish the public sale, then in the next couple of months, we want to focus on the product development. And hopefully we can deliver, uh, yeah, what, what I mentioned as, you know, one game open platform on time in, in October. Then uh, finally, we can launch the main, main app uh, in the beginning of next year. Very cool, awesome. And so, for everybody who wants to find out more information about One Game, where can they go? Um, yeah, we, uh, our website, you, our domain name is very simple. It's just a one dot game. Yeah, you can find us there. And uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to join us uh, in Telegram groups, and don't forget to follow us in Twitter. Um, so after our, our you know, uh, wallet app is launched, um, there, it will be fun. You, you will find out. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Pooh. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, my, my pleasure as well. Have a good day. Thank you very much. All right. Peace. Bye-bye. Peace.